Hello from Hong Kong, my name is Ivana and I just recently went to Peru. Of course, I had to bring some snacks back with me to try them because that's, that's what you should do when you visit a new country. So we've got something here that's called Princesa. It looks like um, Bayadera. We have this snack in former Yugoslavia called Bayadera. It looks like that. I'm very excited to try it. We have Tortis. And I think I took this for the flavor. I don't know. Oh no, it's like a corn chip. And then we have this, which looks like super spicy chips and it says picante. So these are Mexi nachos. This is not from Mexico. I checked it. Made in Peru, made in Peru. Doña Peppa. Doña Peppa. Mm, I don't know. I guess they're cookies with some like sprinkles on it. And this I am most looking forward to trying. This is Inca Cola. Fun fact, Coca-Cola couldn't be Inca Cola in the Peruvian market because apparently Inca Cola tastes better with Peruvian dishes. That's what Rosario told us. And I've been postponing trying this for at least like 10 days because I wanted to try it on camera with you guys. So that's gonna be the last one. And I'm gonna start out with, well, let's start out spicy with these Mexi nachos. I don't know why you would call it like Mexi nachos. If it's like made in Peru, why not Peru nachos? Ooh. So, it's this kind of like... It, it, I don't know if it's made of corn. Is it made of corn? Yes. So it's corn chips. Basically like tortilla chips, but different shape or something. Mm. Really good tortilla chips. Very, very hard. So if you don't like super crunchy things, this is not your jam. I love this. It's not spicy at all. If I would give it a grade between one and 10 for spiciness, it would get a one. It's not spicy at all. Therefore, I will give this one an eight, even though I really, really love this chips. It's good. Okay, let me try this. Doña Peppa. The cookies. Oh, so they are kind of like individually wrapped. Individually, well. Oh, and there's like a cute little Peru logo over here. That's when you know. I, I love the Peru logo. It's so good. It's it's like, oh, this is so cute. Oh, damn it, why did it break? Let me get the other one. Look at this. I've never seen like such cute sprinkle cookies. I love the shape. I love the sprinkles. I love the chocolate. This cookie should be called La Fiesta. Donda Esta La Fiesta. Well, it's here in the cookie. Mmm. Oh, this is so good. I would give these an eight and a half. They just brightened up my whole day. I love these. Mm. Behind the scenes, when a cookie is that good, I'm just gonna eat it. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. When a cookie makes you dance. The next savory one, this one, tortis. Another corn snack. I love the fact that they have so many corn-based snacks in Peru and so many corn-based dishes because my stomach is not really good with wheat. Corn is A-OK. -okay. okay, so this is it's actually quite small chips. Okay, look at it. Wait, <laughs> oh my God, look. It's quite small. I don't know. Super salty. Like really. I guess this is some kind of like classic, just some salt, basic taste. And I have to say, in that case, I would prefer potato chips. I would give these uh, a seven. That's like a solid, decent chips. Oh. Princesa, let's do this. Let me see if it's like the bayadera. Oh, so cute. Look at that. Very Asian proof, individually wrapped. Well, I hope it's chocolate. I don't know if it's chocolate. Look at this, it is so cute. 
Oh, I love this. Mm, okay. The chocolate on top is firm, and with Bayadera, it isn't. This is okay. It's not as mind blowing as I thought it would be. It's good chocolate. You know, Peru has their own cocoa beans, so obviously the chocolate is going to be good. I would give this an 8. It's okay. It's solid chocolate, but if I have to choose, honestly, I prefer Bayadera. It just has more flavor because the like the light layer, it doesn't really have like the hazelnut flavor that I was expecting. But maybe that's just me. I had expectations. I had expectations of you, Princesa. Mm. The final one, Inca Cola. Okay. I like Fernandez, so I'm hoping it tastes like the yellow Fernandez. Fernandez is a Suriname drink. They have all these delicious flavors. Let me see. Yup, it tastes like Fernandez. Oh. I would prefer this over Coca Cola as well. Mm. It's a little bit different than the yellow Fernandez, but it's definitely that flavor range. If you have never tried Fernandez, if you're in the Netherlands, go to a supermarket, look for the Fernandez. Oh, so good. Or if you're in Suriname, obviously, if you're in uh, South America. Mm. I would give this a nine. This is so good. Mm. Maybe even a 10, because if I would have to choose like a soft drink, I never drink them, but if I would have to choose one, I would choose this. So I would give this a 10. Go Inca Cola. So if you're wondering, Ivana, why is there no vlog today? Well, I had a flight for 24 hours. I was mad jet lagged. So I just stopped vlogging until I felt normal again. Today it is Tuesday. When you're watching this, it is Thursday. So can you imagine? It took me like five days to feel normal. I wasn't vlogging, so I thought like, you know what? This is the perfect time to make some different kinds of videos for you guys. So I thought like, you know, the snack tasting video, but I'm also gonna think of some other videos and also next week from, I think Monday until Sunday, there won't be any vlogs up because we're traveling to LA and those vlogs will be up the week after. So I'm so sorry for that, but I'm only human, I'm only human. And travel really takes a toll on your body, so I hope you guys can understand that. If you enjoyed this video, put a thumbs up. And if you would like to see more of my videos and travel along to LA for the holidays, click that subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye!